Welcome to this session. It's a quick core workout. Today you only need your mat, so let's get started lying back down. We're going to start with just a couple of our big 360 degree breaths to tune into our body and think about that deep inner unit with our diaphragm, pelvic floor, transverse abdominis, and multifidi. So we're going to take a nice big inhale through the nose, filling your rib cage, and then exhaling through pursed lips. One more nice big breath in, thinking of your ribs expanding outwards and exhaling it all out. Now we're going to do our core engagement exercises, again, just to kind of warm up and so that we think always about engaging those core muscles as we do our other exercises today. So this is the one where I've talked about in the past, like your body or your torso here is kind of like an accordion and you're going to kind of crunch in and bring your pubic bone towards your belly button and your bottom ribs towards your belly button. So we'll start with an inhale through the nose. As you exhale, think of pubic bone coming up towards belly button, bottom ribs going down towards belly button, and your belly button drawing in towards your spine. Hold for a second, and then release. Another nice big inhale here. As you exhale through the mouth, thinking pubic bone coming up, ribs going down. Ribs are also like knitting together. Your hip bones are coming together nice and tight and release. We'll do one more here with our head on the ground. And release. So now we'll add our flexion. As always, um, level one, a little bit easier is hands by your side, a little bit harder is hands beside the head or taking the weight of your head in your hands so that it's out of your neck. Prepare with an inhale. As you exhale, nod your chin to your chest, coming up, thinking of that accordion kind of crunching here, and then inhaling, lowering back down. Inhale. As you exhale, coming up. Belly button draws in nice and tight, inhaling back down. And your gaze when you come up is just kind of looking over your knees. You have a little space between your chin and your chest. Just two more. And last one. We're going to get our obliques turned on a little bit here. So we're going to be doing our um, kind of shin touches or calf touches. We'll just do one side to start with. So you can have one hand, you can either have hands again beside you, a little bit easier, um, or one hand beside your head. I'm going to be working on my right side to begin. So my left hand will be beside my head. So starting on the ground, prepare with an inhale. As you exhale, you're reaching up and you're trying to reach kind of to the front of your shin and you're closing this distance between your right rib cage and your right hip. Inhale back down, exhale, cinching that right side. Each time really tightening that core as I've said in the past, if somebody was going to come by and like punch you. Just two more on this side. And last one. We'll switch to the other side now, inhaling when you're down, exhaling to come up. So now we're thinking our left rib coming towards our left hip. For four, three, two, and one. 
We'll do some reverse crunches. So arms can be down by your side, kind of um, like in a V here, or you can have them out to a T. Pressing into your arms is gonna help here. Prepare with an inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna lift your legs up to tabletop. Draw in our low tummy here as you exhale and slightly lift your tailbone off the mat, kind of lifting your hips up towards the ceiling and then inhale to tap back down. If this is too much for you, you can make it a mid-range one. Um, so just kind of keeping your legs in tabletop the whole time and just doing little mini lifts like so. Um, if even that's too much, just work on lifting your legs to tabletop and lowering. If it's not good for your low back to do the lifting, press into your arms for assistance. And maybe you're not tapping your toes all the way down. You're going as low as you can while keeping your ribs down and you're not coning or doming your core. We've got five. And try not to use like momentum. Try to really use those deep low core muscles. Last two. And last one. Take a second. You can sway your knees side to side. You could hug your knees in for your low back if that feels good to you. Our next move is going to be our dead bug. So I'll start with the most advanced option is legs in tabletop, my knees are over my hips, arms are up. On an inhale, you're gonna extend opposite arm and leg out, reaching nice and long, exhaling, coming in. Other arm and leg reach out and coming in. The lower your arm and leg reaches, the harder it is. So maybe you're kind of staying up in the air today with your arm and leg, you can do that. Um, another one would be just arms doing the move or feet on the mat and you're kind of sliding your legs out. So take whatever option is for you and your body today and where your core is because we don't want to be making that coning or doming shape. And our spine staying in that neutral position. So if you find you're flattening your back a lot or you're arching too much, maybe take it down a notch. We've got four, three, two, and last one. You're going to carefully bring yourselves up for our side bridge or side plank, whatever you want to call it. Same name or same different name, same thing. Okay, so first I'm going to do. Actually, I'll do feet today. Since this is a quick one, I'm going to stagger my feet instead of just stacking them on top of each other. I find that a little bit easier. Our elbow is going to be beneath our shoulder here. Hand is wherever is comfortable, either in a fist or flat out. Hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked. We're going to lift in three, two, and one. So coming up into whatever position you are today, it could be on your knees, it could be one knee. You can hold here if you want. We're going to do some little hip dips. So just little pulses here, lowering and lifting, using our bottom waist to cinch and lift. So try not to think of it all in your shoulder and your back. Think of that waist doing the work. For five, four, three, two, and one. Carefully lower down with control. The next one, we're going to do star reach. I'm going to have a knee down. If you are advanced, you can have one leg down. So we're going to lift up in three seconds. So get ready. Three, two, one. Lifting up here, a star reach is reaching up um, arm and leg out nice and long, lengthening, and then bringing elbow towards knee. And you might not touch elbow to knee. That's totally okay. So our bottom waist is lifting us up, but our top waist now is kind of getting that crunch. And we've got five, 
four, three, two, and one. Careful, lower down with control. We'll just go right to the other side. You can just roll over. I'm gonna switch. So that first one is the plank with our little hip dips. Again, get set up in your good form. Hips are stacked, shoulders stacked. Elbow is underneath shoulder. We're gonna lift in three seconds. Three, two, and one. Lifting here. And then again, you can just hold if you want, or you can add the little hip dips. If just doing a knee bridge is enough for you, uh, or knee side plank, side bridge, whatever, <laughs> you can do that today. If you need to have a hand down, take your options. For four, three, two, and one, carefully lowering down, giving yourself a little rest for a second to reset for those star reaches. We're gonna lift up in three seconds. So in three, two, and one, coming up. Arm and leg reach nice and long, and then crunching in and reaching. So we're trying to stay lifted through the side. Our neck is long, so we're not dropping our head. We've got four, three, two, whew, and one. My left side is way weaker and lower down. Okay, just one more set of moves onto our twisted plank. So hands about a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart and they're gonna be beneath your shoulders. I'm gonna show you on my feet first. You're gonna come up into your high plank, twist your feet to one side. So my shoulders are still staying and my chest is staying square over my hands, but my lower body's twisted. You can just hold here if you want and think of lifting through this bottom waist. Or if you do wanna add on, you're gonna lower your hips an inch and then lift. This is more than an inch, it's a couple inches lowering and lifting. So we're cinching that bottom waist, thinking bottom ribs to hip. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, carefully come to center. I'm gonna give my wrists and shoulders a little break. We're gonna do that on the other side and then we're just gonna stretch. So reset, get into your good form. Take your time here getting into your high plank, carefully pivoting your feet. So thinking dropping that hip and lifting. Most of your weight is in your hand. So for me, it's in my right hand because it's my right waist that's dropping and lifting. For four, three, two, and one. Carefully lowering down. Roll out your wrists and your shoulders. We're just gonna do a couple cat cows to stretch it out and to get our breathing under control. So knees hip distance apart, hands a little bit wider than shoulders, and then just start flowing here however your breathing wants to go. However you wanna breathe, basically is what I'm trying to say. So thinking those nice, big breaths for recovery, help telling our parasympathetic nervous system to turn on and it's okay, it's time to recover. Just two more. And last one. And then, Again, rolling it out, anything else you wanna do. If you have time for more workouts, you can do any of my other videos, maybe the ones that don't have core in them. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this short little workout and I'll see you next time.